Hello, I'm Gretel Colleen, and tonight Big Brother makes his next move. Yes, the chess game continues. And joining me now is housemate number nine, Patrick. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Now, the big question is, are you a king, are you a pawn, or are you a queen? <laughs> I think I'm a pawn so far, as far as I can tell. Well, what shape is your head in after the last few days? <laughs> it's all right, actually. I was, I was expecting some surprises, so um, I'm not too bad. Were you devastated when you couldn't go into the house? I was a little bit upset, but... Um, you can tell it. the truth. All right, I was extremely upset. And what did you think? Did you think, oh, I've done something wrong? Uh, I thought, why do I get so much trouble just to um, not end up going in? And um, Did you hate Big Brother or did you blame no, yourself? No, no, I didn't hate Big Brother. I, um, Please I speak thought, the truth. Well, I thought I was a bit disappointed with Big Brother, but I didn't really hate him. I thought, All right. Um, and then they comforted you and took you back to the hotel. Did. Were you wild away two boring days? I did, yeah, very well. Went slightly mad? Um, mostly mad, yeah. So what are you expecting now? Um, a house full of people, hopefully, this time. All right, you ready for a chat? Uh, yep. So you think that there'll be a house full of all the other housemates who managed Ooh, to get in? Sure. I've, I've decided not to expect anything from now on, so... Um, Did you I, have a plan? Um, no plan whatsoever. So now you have even less of a plan? Even less of a plan, even less of an idea. Can I just ask you before you go in, do you think that this rather rough introduction <laughs> for you over the last few days has toughened you up a bit and um, prepared you perhaps a bit yeah, better? Yeah, I'm really tough now. <laughs> you seem <laughs> you very tell, tough. Kind of. Good luck. Thank you. Now, down you go there. And have a great time. It's an okay. incredible experience. Walk down that way. Thank you. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. Hi, I'm Patrick. I'm 29. I grew up overseas in Chile and Nigeria and Sweden and all sorts of weird, strange, exotic places. Patrick's actually very good at his job. Gets around, but we don't know where. Has a job, we don't know what it is. A high tech audio company exporting to all corners of the globe. Oh, a girl in every port, really. Bit of a party animal. A phenomenal listener. He's very thoughtful. Very thoughtful. I think that's because he grew up in a big family. Five younger brothers and two sisters, and they're all fantastic. <laughs> Friends and family are the most important things that go on with my life. Patrick meanders through various groups of friends. Australian, foreigners, dance crew, straight, gay, yeah. a mild man and office crew. And I think it's because I relate really quickly to people. He's very good at uh, meeting people. He's not someone who <laughs> vomits opinions out there for anyone to listen to whenever they want. He's quite measured in what he says. Patrick thinks he's pretty athletic. He plays tennis with me. I try my best not to dismay him. <laughs> I've um, gone from one long-term girlfriend to another. I'm usually with a gap of around two and a half hours. <laughs> I send flowers, we buy gifts, we bring, bring back presents for anyone overseas. He treats women very well. But I decided about six months ago that I was going to be single till 10.30. In some ways, I wish that the cameras weren't going to be there because it's going to be an amazing experience just to meet those people, to find out their backgrounds and to get to know them really well. Well, apparently Benjamin has already started the barbecue in preparation for guests arriving. I am joined now by the dark and brooding love god of last year's Big Brother, Damien, <laughs> and that bum-dancing bunny girl herself, the multi-talented, much-loved Sarah Marie, and the woman who we all know is a brilliant psychologist, but whom we now also suspect may be psychic, Carmel Hill. Now, we know we're racing to get Patrick into the house. Can we get a quick update, Carmel? Why has Benjamin been by himself for the first day? He's the controller that we took control away. Joanne joined him because? He, she's his competitor, the female competitor. Now, Patrick's dominant personality trait would be? His dominant personality is a quiet dominance, so he actually doesn't, he won't dominate, but he will speak out um, if um, Benjamin acts up. So which house, well, let's phrase it differently, not which house do you think he'll go to, but rather, what effect would he have on the round house where we've already got six people? The roundhouse? Well, he certainly will, wouldn't That's tolerate... That's the square house. Suddenly I'm seeing stars That's before right. my eyes. That's the square house. Well, he certainly wouldn't tolerate Carlo for too long. Right. Um, so he'll, he'll enjoy him and he'll play with him. But if he crosses the line in terms of, of uh, a joke that's a bit too uh, dirty, then he'll actually pull him up. And how would he go in the roundhouse? In the roundhouse, I think he won't be perceived as a threat 
but I really think he's the threat if it keeps on going. All right, thank you. Now, Damien, you've seen both of the houses and the different lifestyles in each. Which one would you rather be in? Um, no doubt the people with them, the house with the most people in it. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a bit of a vibe. I like Carlo. He's, he's sparking something in there and he's, he's getting things going. And you think he'd be good to live with? Mate, he's, he's a loud boy. He throws the chat around. But, um, you know, I, I think I could relate to him quite well. It's pretty cool. Well, you related to the girls pretty well when you were in Big Brother. And uh, Joanne's in the other house. How would you... <laughs> yeah. Can you get Joanne? Oh, well, you know, Joanne's... Joanne's good looking, no doubt, but I think she's, I think she's wonderful for the house because she's got brains, she's got serious brains, she's like a model and a lawyer. So too good for you? She's out of my league. <laughs> I'm not touching that. <laughs> good on you. Well, what about you, Sam I would actually choose the house with Benjamin and Joanne in it because um, I would find it easier to form an honest friendship much quicker than the house with everyone trying to outdo each other with who's going to be the craziest or the loudest. So I'd go opposite and choose the two cool cats at the moment so I can put Sam my ground a bit. All right. Well, we've yet to see what will happen. We've got to see what move will, uh, what move Big Brother will make next. Now, every Everyone has got theories, including those housemates who are currently leading a rather Ken and Barbie lifestyle. They were caught this afternoon hatching a plot to completely ignore any new housemates. When they come in today, look, we just go about it. Oh, g'day, mate, how are you? As if to say, it's just a normal occurrence. <laughs> They're going to get all the people. There's the hot seat. Yeah. And we'll just sit here. we just got to see. Twiddling our thumbs. And what we could play a game on a game, like we say, well, welcome. <laughs> Congratulations, you've done well to get this far. <laughs> we are here Sorry, to but you're not in. speak to you prior to moving in through to the house. There's just a couple of things we need to clarify. <laughs> Have you got money? Is it in an offshore bank? <laughs> and then, no, you're free to go through, mate. The others will be uh, in later. Go into the bedroom and yeah. sit on your bed yeah. and don't move. Don't move until we get a, a further direction from Big Brother. But this is the holding house, and we will let you know when you're to be moved into the private residence. <laughs> Just play with their mind. And we're like, we could have fun for about a whole day on it. <laughs> yep. Mind games, baby. Yeah. Mm. Two lawyers working together, plotting to divide and conquer new housemates. Unbelievable? No, not really. The miracle is that as lawyers, they are actually in agreement. Well, let's watch as Big Brother's newest playmate goes into the Palace of Mirrors. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh! <laughs> how you doing? Ben, mate, how Patrick, are you? How you Come doing? in, Patrick. Hello. <laughs> I heard that. Oh, yeah. Where's all the people? This is it. This is it? This is it. <laughs> Oh my god, I've got the worst headache at the moment. Really? I'm so sorry. Are you hungover? No. Nice I pink uggies. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was on the. On the couch. In the sun all day, mate. In the sun all day. Oh, so that's sorry. And, and I'm um, listening to a wind all night, and mate. Big Brother left me some sunscreen, so. I bought some sunscreen. Come through. Oh my I god, have you got a guitar? Yeah. Can you play for me? No, I can't play. Oh, you can't play? <laughs> no, I can play a little. Only a tiny bit. Oh Take your pick, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Take your pick. Take, Take your my pick. pick. <laughs> Uh, I'm here. Oh, we said it had come true. <laughs> Yay, we got someone. Oh, have, have, you been spending, have you spent two days together? Yeah, oh, no. Oh, yes. Now, Benjamin and Patrick also met at an audition. And as you can see, they're now trying to work out what the sleeping positions will be. Stay tuned, because we have another housemate ready to position. And only Big Brother knows where. <laughs>
are a man cleaning. That would be that ancient courting ritual. It's a snag's way of showing what a great catch he is. Benjamin is possibly trying to impress Joanne by demonstrating how useful he is around the house. If only he had a shed, he could go out and build something for her. Welcome back to our guests, Sarah Marie, Damien and Carmel. Now, Carmel, what happened in the house just now when Patrick entered? Well, Ben made it very clear it was his house. He welcomed him as the perfect host. He was charming. He led him into the bedroom. You can see that Joanne was with him and uh, followed him and uh, competed with him by saying, uh, yes, that's right, you can choose any bed that you want. So uh, she's very pleased, I think, very, very pleased to have another person in the house to talk with. Well, actually, I thought she was so pleased that she said, you can have any bed that you want, I'm sleeping here. That's right. <laughs> Suggesting that there's an empty one on the other side and you and I could talk all night. That's right. All right. Yeah, Patrick has this amazing ability to, um, he's not competitive like the other two um, but they won't know that but what he has is his ability to um, adapt his personality to fit whoever he's with so he's um, being uh, met by Ben who's actually being charming so he's being charming back but uh, if he was with Carlo or someone like um, our friend here, um, he would actually be uh, chummy chummy and um, actually playing jokes with him. So we'll see Patrick change continually in the house. Is that a manipulative device or is not that just a social? He's not competitive at all. Just social behaviour. He's the son of a diplomat and he's learnt how to do it. Very good. Now, what is your opinion of the house? Well, I think both of them in the house were just dying for someone to enter because me and Sam Marie went through the runs yes. before. And it was just so boring for now, him. Now explain, a these are the camera runs which run yeah. right around yeah. the house and look straight into the house. I think exactly. all very spoiled Big Brother 1 and 2 to see what they're going through now. I mean, it's so small, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's tiny. Exactly. It's ridiculous it's small. All right, well let's throw to the house and see what's going on now. I got to the end. I got to where you, you disembark the car. Yeah, disembark. Um, and they said, um, the lady's standing there with a camera. Hi Joe, yeah. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I had the same thing. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they're just yeah. This that's just the process. Yeah, you're not in. That's just what how it goes, say? or something like that. She goes, and I just went, what? what? <laughs> and well, how did you react when they said it to you? I wasn't too bad at you. I don't think I haven't seen it obviously, but I thought I just thought, oh well, you know. <laughs> but then I was thinking in the back of my mind. I was talking. There, I was thinking. Why would they take you through all that stuff? That's yeah. what I was saying. That's what Just. I was thinking. So there they are, sitting in the house, having a, a little chat. Joanne hasn't looked quite so happy for the last 24 hours as she does now. <laughs> Is that a bit of finding someone from your own planet as well? Because you can immediately like and bond with someone, can't you? Yeah, she's going to bond more with Patrick, actually, because he won't be a competitor for her. Now, what do you think is happening in the square house? Um, craziness. You think still? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we peered in on the three girls before in the bedroom. It's when we're in the runs, And it's just <laughs> goss, goss, goss. Yeah, about what? And, yeah, there's um, whinging, there's D&Ms already. And, like, you haven't aired it, but it was just so and interesting. And the boys are out the back in the sandcastle and the girls are in the room mm. doing the clothes thing and stuff. I've never been through it before, so I was, like, spinning it going, is this what you saw of us? <laughs> That and more, Sarah Marie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think they're getting up to in the square house? Let's take a look. It's those plant things into the garden. I don't want them. No, they're there for a reason. What like reason? the bins, they moved them back there last night because we moved them. Well, if they move these back, then we'll know they have them here for No, because reason. I want to maybe encourage us to mingle over there. Yeah, I can't. It's over raining there. and it's. it's f screwed them. Yeah, and Can let's. Why we don't want to go there. No. <laughs> That's why I noticed that we're all as far as way as possible from over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it just happened because of the uh, land was here. <laughs> just quiet. No, you were um, uh, appreciative enough of us to go to the furthest point that we oh, need. Why I went there. She wants me pissed down. I'm not going to piss around when you go. <laughs> of course not. He's got the decency to piss over there, and not right in front. Turn around and put his back to us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yeah. Can you see it? Can you... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> cats, cats do that. Like if, if you walk in on them, on they turn they around. Stop. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, my cat turns around. Put their finger in the top and they walk. Oh yeah, that was there. really wet. That one. <laughs> they do. I tried to get them yesterday, but they were just so wet. Are they still soaking? You put your yeah. finger in the top, and I'm like. Just moments before this, the square house was suggesting that there is in fact a third house, and that's where housemates may be going. 
Meanwhile, in the roundhouse with Joanne, Benjamin and Patrick, Benjamin and Joanne have suggested that they are in the small house and everyone else is in a really, really big house. Now, after last night, we know that the gang are expecting a new housemate to enter. Big Brother does have a new housemate ready to go in, but where she will go, only Big Brother knows. Welcome back. You are watching Big Brother and I'm standing here with our very next housemate, housemate number 10, Regina. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Now, 29 years old. Yeah. All right, have you aged at all in the last few days? No, I've been really relaxed, so it's good. <laughs> Why yeah. were you relaxed? Um, probably because I'm away from work and <laughs> it's like a little holiday. <laughs> so even an intense psychological experience is relaxation compared to your normal existence? Yes. <laughs> oh, good on you. Yep. Yeah. Now, what are That's you expecting good. in the house? Um, I don't know, I really don't. I'm... I haven't really been thinking about it that much and I, I, I just don't know what to think. You're just ready for an yeah, experience? Um, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. well, good luck. Thank you. In you go, <laughs> have a fantastic time and walk that way. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yesterday, I normally start at 5 in the morning, I open the door at 6, 2 o'clock, I normally try to get out of here and have a break, go home, do the housework and then come back again and clean up, ready for another day. I just think it'd do a good to get out of the shop. So bored with my life, I've got to do something, I don't know what to do. This is uh, Campbell, he's my best friend. We've been married about five years now. Uh, oh, I'm going to miss Campbell, I'm going to miss Campbell. He's better to sleep with anyway. <laughs> But I'm sure she'll miss me there somewhere. <laughs> I'm a bit loud sometimes. She's quite outspoken. Nah, I don't no. like them. No, yeah, no, she likes a drink. As long as I don't have too many on the right. <laughs> sort of person that you probably can't take anywhere, but you really wouldn't go anywhere without her. I'm not a furry person. She's got great legs, especially when she gets the skirts and the short shorts out. Yeah, she is very sexy. I'm just going to go in there and, and have a good time. I think she'll just be herself and uh, she'll get through on that. She's very bored with her life at the moment and I think locking her up might just fix that. I don't know what, but I feel like there's something else in me. There's more to me than, than cooking fish and chips. <laughs> Well, there we have the beautiful Regina. Now, what sort of personality does Regina have, Carmel? Well, she really is the female Aussie battler. So a hard worker, really has struggled uh, in the early stages of her life and really has got a lot of strength from that. And uh, she's very warm and um, I guess is, is going to, uh, I guess, really grow in the house. Um, I think a lot of her friends were saying she's looking for a new experience. She really believes deep down that there's something special to her and I believe the viewers will see that. She's from Tasmania, she works in a fish and chip shop, so she's used to having people all day long in her life. Mm. So she'll be mentally prepared for this. Let's catch her now as she enters the house. <laughs> Blow down my eyes! Blow down my eyes! Am I right? <laughs> Hello! Yeah. Come in! Oh. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it all going. How are you? Yeah, I'm Regina. Ben, Regina, how are ben? you? Good. Joe. Joe. Patrick, how are you? What was it, sorry? Patrick. Patrick. Okay. How Sensational. are you? Sensational. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. We're gonna, gonna do this for the night. We're gonna get another one in. Oh, this, this is, is it. it. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? Don't get yeah. excited. Yes. Go find some more this people. There's no yeah. people. Come through and have a look. There's a house over there, and they're all in there. There's a whole bunch of people in there. Here you go. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Patrick just got here. Patrick just got here. Oh, really? These two are sitting here looking really bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew oh, like, someone was here because 
um, when I because I come and got taken away again, and and I remember you were, you were the first one yeah, to yeah, so to come in. I went here and then Joe <laughs> and came and saved me. Night. And tonight this is a double. So you bring me all by yourself. Yeah. yeah. And then Joe came last night, and then Patrick tonight. Now you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Not even that. How what? cool, they got the harmonicas going next door. Have now we can so compete with the noise because they've been crashing beers and crashing everything. <laughs> OK, so that's the roundhouse. Let's take a quick look at the square house because they still think somebody's okay. coming in. Just get excited all of a sudden. Yeah, that's a good we're one. Rush em. What's that? That's a... Over-excited. Okay. Over-excited. Oh, 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 we're being our emotions. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, yes. we're being I'm our a, emotions. I, but I get scared only every now and then. Like, yeah, I could be in a conversation. I could just be in a conversation. Oh my god, it's Tourette's person. Tourette's. <laughs> like, no. and get oh, totally you know, you know, it's it's a like No, no, you're going to bark as you well. Have a you're a mental. Area. You're going to be Tourette's. Oh, 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 where I fell over. Hey, wifey, can I be Tourette's bit my ass? I'm going to sit in my spot. Tourette's bit my ass. Hello! Everyone be quiet. Everyone be quiet. Statues, we're live. Sorry. Oh, they are going to be so disappointed. They can hear the noise of the surprises next door, and poor Vincent looks like he's desperate for someone to join him. So, two more characters have now entered the plot. Will they become friends? Will they become enemies? Will they be manipulated by Big Brother? Or will rebellion arise and result in mutiny? <laughs> Well, you are watching Big Brother, and at this point, neither house has got what they expected tonight. One house, the round house, thought they would be getting one new guest, and the square house thought that they would also be getting one new guest, but as it turns out, the round house has got two. So, in the words of Big Brother, ha-ha, tricked you. Now, quick summation, what are we thinking? Um, I feel the next few days, um, Joanne's going to be the leader, and Regina's going to follow second in command. Girls rule, OK. Yeah. Damien? Um, I think the next few days, I think Vincent's going to grate away on people. I think he's yeah. quite annoying, just quietly. And Ben? What do you think of Benjamin? Ben, same deal. He's, he's all right, but... You think he's on a power trip? He's yeah. tripping. <laughs> on his own ego. Carmel, the expert. I agree with Sarah Marie that uh, Joanne, as said last night, is very caring, and she's going to really help Regina settle in. So that's All right. Good. So, yes, go on. And we have uh, with four people in the house. We're now going to have the beginning stages of the group and we're going to get a bit more energy and fun into that house. Fantastic. And, of course, tune in at 7 o'clock tomorrow night to catch everything that is going on. Very big thank you, Sarah Marie, you. Damien, Carmel Hill. Thank, thank you. you. This game is becoming clearer. It started as solitaire, then became chess, then Ken and Barbie, then Twister, and now we can see, clear as day, that this game is called Big Brother. Join me tomorrow night at 7.30 here on Channel 10, when I'll be joined by both the terrific Turkan and the effervescent Nathan from The Last Big Brother. In the meantime, tune into The Daily Show at 7, as I said, and, of course, there is always plenty to see at www. No, we don't need the W's because that's uncool, isn't it? <laughs> Bigbrother.optus.com.au. I'm Gretel Colleen. You are watching Big Brother. I'll see you all again tomorrow night. Want any of this oh, stuff? I've just already applied. You, yeah. go, you go for it. And I would just go everywhere and, and everything. Watch your feet on the legs. There's little go, squeakers that stick out. Oh, really? We've already had one. Oh, good. Oh, this is great. Doing NBC, Katie. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.